Salt Lake City, wearing all red. He approaches, swing of the right leg, and we're underway. The rumble in the Rockies, and coming up and taking right at the goal line is Caster up the middle across the 10, cuts right out to the 15, cuts back to his left, steps out of a tackle at the 17, and finally he is taken down at the 20-yard line. A return from the goal line, making the stop is Greg Bird for Utah. Ball on the right, hash mark, moving left to left, tight end to the right, that's the boundary side of the formation. Hanson drops, screen pass, Gray the catch on the left side, running across the 20, and from behind, Brian Blecken, the strong safety. He is there in the tackle, he works his way out to the 23, almost a 24, it's a gate of three on that play. Blecken is a guy that John Emery has. yard line. Tight end and an H to the right. Dropping his hands in the throw. Looks off to his right. Throws it out there in the uh, soft spot in that zone. Making the first down grab is Paul Richardson out to the 34-yard line. There the tackle was Conroy Black. And that's the built Ford Tough first down. Brought to you by our local Ford stores. Ford sacks in the campaign. First down at 10 for the 34. Hanson fakes the handoff. Here comes the screen. They toss it up over the middle. It is incomplete. It was deflected. Danowitz got locked up with the defensive end. Dave Kruger and uh, those defensive linemen as they well know if they all right hash mark moving right to left hands under center sprints out left hands out to speedy being patient trying to turn the corner look for a hole he found it he darts through across the 37 out to the 39 yard line and out of bounds to the 40 on the near sideline Eric Rowe the free safety is there on the tackle that's a gain of seven yards Zim give credit to speedy Stewart that time very patient running he was looking for the hole wanted to cut a couple of times but he waited to the ball that pass mark tight into the right inside hand off to Rodney Stewart he runs to the back of of his own offensive lineman stutter step forward to Vita Finau is there on the tackle for the Utes we got a flag in the play he was a motion man is P rich to the backfield off the right Hanson under center play action boots out to his right he's got Richardson makes the grab with the 49 turns up field 45 burst to speed 35 yard line out of bounds on the far side and they pick up a first down on first down and 15 they'll spot him out just inside the 30 at the 29 yard line it's a gain of 19 yards and a first down for Colorado beautifully designed play by the Buffaloes and the ball was right on the money from Tyler Hanson Mark I like it I like I like seeing it uh, seeing him get it into Paul Richardson the left backs are in the eye speedy dots the eye Hanson under center, drops the throw. He pumps once, now steps up the pocket, swing it off at a safety valve, and it hits and is caught by Evan Harrington, who is about four feet away from Hanson, and he gets buried under a loss of two yards, in fact, on that play. And that was just a chuck and duck deal to get rid of the ball before you got hit by that loss of two and out to the Utes, 31-yard line. Ball right, hash mark, shotgun snap, knee high, taken by Hanson. Here comes the blitz, throw over the middle. It is caught at the 15 by the tight end, Ryan Dehan, and he spins his way down to the 11 and picks up a first down for Colorado, a gain of 20. And how about another center boundary and a tight end to the right? One running back is Speedy. Play action, dumping off to Speedy, and he dropped it. It hit him right in the hands. All Tyler did was take a seven-step drop. Speedy just jumped into the hole created by the offensive line. Boundary to the right, hands under center. He's got one running back, Speedy. Turns right, hands out, Speedy's got a hole. Makes a juke, makes a man miss. Steps into a second defender at the five, and he's twisted down at the four-yard line. That's a gain of seven yards at time on uh, that play. And the Buffaloes are down and goal to go to the three-yard line. Hanson, little pitch left. Speedy's got one man to beat. Steps out of that tackle. Second wave comes in. Still on his feet. He broke a tackle. Dies to the end zone. And he's down about six inches shy of the goal line. Oh, wow. I thought he had it. Boy, he laid out. And the indication is that the knee went down. Greg Bird was there on the tackle for the Utes. And so now what? Tyler Hansen stands hands on him. Three tight end formation, no receivers, backs ready eye. Hansen, quarterback keeper, he dives, leaps up over the top. End zone, touchdown, touchdown Colorado. A beautiful drive, 12 plays, 80 yards. And they did it in all form and fashion of running and receiving and passing. And they find the end zone on a one yard plunge by Tyler Hansen, his third rushing touchdown of the campaign. And Snap, put down, swings the right leg, kick is true, and it is 7-0. Colorado, this chip shot brought to you by Colorado National Golf Club. By Colorado this season, the Berg Simpson Law Firm makes a generous donation to Craig Hospital. Berg Simpson, good lawyers, changing lives. Matthews comes up, he'll take along the left seam at the 10, run into by Christopher, out across the 20 to the 25 to the 27-yard line. And yeah, that's eventually where he's brought down. A lot of uh, extracurriculars out there after which Earl Smith on the special teams tackle. Return of 17 yards. Short kick that time. Including total offense. First down attempt for the 27. 
Hayes out of the shotgun, flanked to his right by White, fakes a handoff, boots out to his right, grabbed around the ankles and brought down. A beautiful job that time by Josh Hardigan. On the boot to the right, he grabbed him around the ankles and took him down to the turf here at Rice Eccles Stadium, a loss of six yards. And uh, if they rule that a sack, and I think it should be because he was trying to pass even though he had rolled out, that would be the 14th career sack for Josh Hardigan. What a career he's had. Yeah, that would be number seven this season. A senior out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, making a nice play. He was a spy on that play, just keeping tabs from his Jack linebacker position. On the quarterback, second down at 16 for the 21. Hayes again out of the shotgun. He's got a second down at 16 for the 21. Hayes again out of the shotgun. He's got a tight end to the left boundary to the right. Takes a snap. Short drop. Lobs it down the right side. And Devontae Christopher backing up. It's incomplete. Nice coverage at time by Parker Orms. The sophomore out of Wheat Ridge, Colorado, has been so banged up all season long. He and Christopher were stride for stride. And number 13 for the Buffaloes got his hand in there along the near sideline. The the AP's about as tough as they come. Third down at 16. Shotgun snap to Hayes. Boots out to his left. Nice cut block on the right side. He tucks it running at the 20. He pumps. Now he throws over the middle grab is made at the 32 yard line making a catch I think was Luke Matthews in traffic but he's all down and that is a well shy of the first down marker making a stop will pre check the defensive tackle for the Buffaloes and that's fourth down a gain of 11 on that play Five yard line off to our right Selwood at the 18 off to our left puts the right foot to it it's a rifle shot spiraling drifting back inside the 15 oh. as Logan Gray takes it and takes a whale of a shot on special teams three tight ends to the right one running back is speedy play action booting left Hanson sets up the one to throw over the middle oh. wide open Devon Thornton grab it's a foot race at the 50 he's got one man the beat steps around him now here comes the cavalry and they bring him down from behind inside the 40 the 37 yard line what happened there number 85 was so alone looked like he was late for school and he picked up the ball had the weight on the throw and the Utes defense in response and brought him down, but a long gain for Colorado. That's only the fifth catch of the year for Devon. First and 10 from the Utes 37 yard line. Hanson under center, the snap screen left side. Paul Richardson with the crab gets a nice block from Clemens up the sideline inside the 35 to the 30 and out of bounds to the 29. Beautiful block out there by Tony Clemens. Driving him out was Trevor Riley for the Utes. That's a gain of eight yards. Tight end to the right. Baxter in the eye. Hanson under center. Motion man is P. Rich. Turns left. Play action. Hanson sets up the screen. Get it off to Speedy. And he's surrounded. Now he turns around. Looking for a block for the quarterback. Hanson. He gets that. Still surrounded back at the 35. <laughs> reverses back to his left. Finds a seam. Runs forward inside the 30. And down to the... 28 yard line. He ran about 57 yards and gains two on the play. All his feet he's to it can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Kruger eventually made the tackle. Let's quickly pause 10 seconds now for station identification here in the Colorado football right now. Two tight ends and a boundary to the right. One running back. His feet sets to throw. Throws it over the middle. Wide open. Lays out. Incomplete. Paul Richardson ran the post corner and Tyler Hansen simply overthrew him. Otherwise that's a touchdown. He had about three steps on the safety in this circumstance. Slot left formation, boundary to the right. Hanson is out of the shotgun. Takes a snap. Here comes a blitz, picked up nicely. Boots out to his right, sets to throw. There's a flag. Throw is caught at the 32-yard line by Clemens, but it's come back. Running inside the 20, inside the 15, inside the 10. Hit and run out of bounds at about the three-yard line. I think it's going to be a hold. Yeah, there's no doubt about this one. He was run out of bounds by Brian Blacken. And now the U players are going nuts about something out there. I think they wanted a hold on a block by Paul Richardson. P. Rich is right now going nose to nose with Conroy Black out there. They finally get separated. Now here comes a call from a referee. The ruling on the field is a touchback. The penalty is a personal foul. Number 53 of the offense, hands to the face. This penalty is declined. First down, Utah. Utah takes over. Hayes turns, hands off the white, runs into Patrick Mankey. And Mankey is there to haul down the ball carrier after a short gain out to about the 23 yard line. That's a big of a three yards in that play. Nice job. The, the hole open on the right side. Side of the Mankey. left hash mark. Also a slot to the open side of the formation. Hayes turns, hands off white. No hole there. He is hit immediately. Anthony Perkins and a couple of other Buffaloes are there to bring him down. A short gain of a yard on that play. Yeah, Derek Webb comes yep. up off the bottom. Colorado football is brought to us by Old Chicago. Got some staples in the scalp, by the way. Wow. Third down at six. 0 of 1 on third down. Hayes, the snap, throws over the middle. Catch is made by Luke Matthews at the 27 yard line. And very sure tackling that time by the Buffaloes as he is hauled down a gain of four. They needed six. Ray Polk there in the stop. That'll bring up fourth down. And the Utes have to punt this one away. looked uh, very well. Selwood is out to punt this one away. 
The Buffs with 164 yards of offense. Not a great punt. It's shanked, and it comes to the near side. Bounces at the 30. Takes a huge bounce, though. Rolls inside the 15, inside the 10. To the near sideline, out of bounds, just inside the 5. And right, shifting in motion now, is Dehan. Hanson under center. Turns, drops into the end zone, looks to throw. Throws it right side. P. Rich with a grab at the 11. Turns up field, up to the 14-yard line, and that's eventually where he is swallowed up. Chaz Walker is there on the tackle for the U. For the 14. Hanson has a tight end and an H to the left. Sprints out left, hands out to speed. He finds a seam, first down carry. Steps out of a tackle at the 19. He was grabbed around the ankles by the nickelback, Ryan Lacey, and then stumbled forward out to the 23-yard line. That's a gain of nine yards. First down, and right now that offensive line, and Andy Lindell touched on a while ago. See how that offensive tight line end. and one wide receiver to the right. Speedy the lone setback. P. Rich through the backfield now in motion. Hanson under center, takes a snap, drops. Play action, sets the throw, has time, throws the out to the far side and overthrows Paul Richardson. He ran a deep route up around the 40-yard line when he made his cut. The ball was on the way and he couldn't catch up to it. Now handles, you're right. So he's back. Maybe that was just a one-snap deal on second down to 15. Low snap taken by Hanson. He pumps. He's in traffic. Now steps back and throws over the middle. That might be intentional grounding. There, I didn't see anybody in the area. And I guess just bleeding out to the right was the safety valve, Roddy Stewart. There is Stewart. no intentional grounding. Third down at 15 for the 18-yard line. Two tight in formation. Hanson sprints out left. Hands out to Speedy off the left side, running to the boundary side. Beautiful job off the end. Coming in was Joe Kruger, the sophomore out of Orem, Utah. Makes a tackle after a gain of three yards. That was a great individual. O'Neal at the six-yard line up to a right. He's had a great year punting. As the freshman from the Boulder area puts the foot to this one. It's not a great one, however. Making a grab of the 44-yard line is McNabb running to the far side. Gets away from one tackle. Gets a bend, finds the corner. Running the 45-40. Hit by O'Neal and run out of bounds. But it's deep inside Colorado territory as he takes him out right around the 28-yard line. There was a yard sh- line. Hayes is under center. Moving left to right. Give up to White. The tailback comes off the left side. Takes a shot in the midsection from Anthony Perkins. And he is hauled down after a short gain of three, almost four yards. Four yard line. Buffs with a five man front showing blue. They don't bring it. Oh, they do off the edge. And Patrick Mankey came off the edge on the right play of the handoff to White and pulled him down back to the 25 yard line. That's a loss of a yard. And the senior out of Parker, Colorado that time, like he was shot out of a cannon for the defensive line. So here we go. Third down and eight. The Utes are old two on third down. For the Buffalo's 25-yard line, shotgun snap. Here comes the blitz. It is picked up. Rears back. Rifles at right side. Matthews tries to adjust. Can't make it out in the right flat. There is a flag on the play. Hayes threw that one to the outside shoulder, and Matthews is looking over the left shoulder. And Coleman Peterson is out for the extra point. His longest this year is 48. He's made 16 of his last 17 and six in a row. This to put the first points on the board. Snap put down. Swing of the right leg. Kick is up. It is on its way, and it is no good. Kicked it off to the now, left. There's that win we were talking about. Ray Polk comes flying to the sidelines, clapping his hands, high-fiving his teammates. Not surprised that wasn't a buff issue there. That was a Mother Nature issue off the foot of close. From the 25-yard line, moving left to right. Ball right, hash mark, tight into the left. That's the open side of the formation. Play action. Hanson sets the throw, steps up with the pocket. Now he decides to run. Now he flips it down to sideline. Keenan Canty leaping grab, but he's out of bounds. Couldn't get the one. Put and it 10 from the 25-yard line. Ball right, hash mark. I beg your pardon, 29. Pitch out on the right side. Grab his made the 25 by Tony Clements. He makes a man miss. Running at the 35, running at the 40, and out across the 43 to the 44-yard line. He has run out of bounds. That should have been a four straight games. Tight end to the right. That's the boundary side of the formation. Hanson under center. Now he appears to be checking off at the line of scrimmage. Four-man front defensively for Utah. One running back is Speedy. Hanson, short drop. He pumps. Now throws a fade down the right side. Whistle is blown. Stoppage of play. And it's a procedure call against Colorado. That's the third one of those. For the snap. Hanson lines up oh. under center. One running back is Speedy. Turns to his left. Play action. Boots out to his right. Dumps it off. Tight end to Von Thornton. Bobbles and hauls it in at the 35-yard line. Turns up field. Takes a shot in the knees at the 40-yard line. That's where he's hauled down. Reggie tops the yeah, nickel back. Makes it an awful tough third down at 13 here for the 41-yard line. There's a snap. Dropping the throw. Fade down the right side. Clemens got tangled up with the... Nickelback Ryan Lacey, the ball goes sailing over his head, and there is no flag in the play. So no, he's flanked to his left by Rodney Stewart, showing blitz, but they drop it to coverage. Hanson steps up, runs to the near side. There is a flag in the play, throw over the middle. It's behind Tyler McCulloch, incomplete. But now let's see what the flag is all about. It's thrown downfield on the, the referee. Prior to the pass, holding number 26 to the defense. 
10 yard penalty and an automatic first down. Second oh. period, 7 0 Colorado. Two tight ends to the right. Hanson drops a screen pass thrown on the far side. Clemens makes the grab, but immediately surrounded and held up right there at the 50 yard line. Brian Blacken was the first player there for the game. So he holds down the Buffaloes number seven. No gain on that play. Colorado football is brought to us by the CU Bookstore. Foot and a half in that last play out of the shotgun is Hanson from the 49-yard line. Boots to his right, looking for the throwback, does, gets it out there. Rodney's got room to run. Running at the 45, cuts inside across the 40-yard line. He slides to the 39. They'll spot him down at the 40. Didn't that should be enough. No, maybe not. No. About a half yard shy of the first down marker. He didn't get a good spot on that, though. Well, he did go down. Third down and one. The Buffs are one of four on third down attempts. Backs in the offset eye. Give to Speedy right side. Finds a hole. He's got the first down and about a yard as he takes a shot right around the midsection at the 38-yard line. A gain of a yard and a half, almost two on that one, making a stop. Wow. Trevor, first down and 10 now from the Utes, 38-yard line. Under center, snap, deep drop, sets to throw, throws the fade down the right side. Paul Richardson is out there. There's contact. He goes down. Can't come up with it, but there's a flag on the play. Reggie Tops again getting physical with Paul Richardson as P. Rich turned for the ball. Tops did not. The right ball, center of the field. Tight end to the left. Hanson turns left, hands off to Speedy. He stutter steps and just got blown up. A loss of two yards back at the 25 yard line, and there was great penetration. Yard line. Ball inside the left hand hash mark. Tight end right and left. Speedy shifts now, kind of a wing to the left. Here's the snap to Hanson, drops to throw, looks over the middle, throws it out there, grab is made at the 18-yard line. Nick Casa, the former defensive lineman for the Buffaloes, out of the Denver area, making a grab. That's his first career reception as a tight end. He was a defensive end until about a month ago. The Utes 17-yard line. Five-man front now for the Utes. Shotgun snap, Hanson boots to his right, looking downfield, throws it near his sideline. P. Rich got a left hand and couldn't haul it in. Ryan Lacey was right there in the coverage. Had a little deep out for the Buffaloes. That'll bring up fourth down. Right, right. He's fourth down and four from the 17. Shotgun snapped, empty backfield, dropping a throw on fourth down. Hanson pumps, flush to his left. He's got room to run. He'll pick up the first down as he's out of bounds on the far side as he runs in front of Matt Martinez. Well, they cleared it out, and so if he had to break containment in the pocket, he'd have room to run, and he picks up four yards, almost five, and a first down. Here's Andy Lindo on the sidelines again. And, guys, I just love the calmness of Tyler right now. This is, again, that same sort of attitude and demeanor we saw out of him against Arizona. Just to let you know. Line of scrimmage. Ball left the mark. Takes a snap, drops the throw, looks to his right, delivers out there on a slant ball in and out of the hands of Logan Gray. Good coverage from behind by Ryan Lacey. They appear to be going under center as Hanson. Ball left hash mark. One running back is Speedy. Four-man front turn. Get off to Speedy. Right side, he found a bit of a hole, but Ryan Thornton, or Devon Thornton rather, got blown up by his and the uh, defender, Trevor Riley, then escapes and brings down the ball carrier after a gain of a yard. Third right, inside, eight minutes to play. Bucks on top by a touchdown. Five wide receivers deployed. Dropping Hanson to throw. Slant right side. Catch. Hit from behind Cephalo the grab. But he's knocked down at the six-yard line. That's a gain of six yards. That'll make it fourth down and about three now from the six-yard line. He was The wind appears to be at Oliver's back right now. Snap, put down, swing of the right leg by Oliver. Kick is up. It is on its way, and it is good. A 23-yard field goal for the Buffaloes. That makes it now a 10-0 ball game with seven, 9 for 17 for Utah. The Utah. only thing that, that's awesome, the only thing you think about is it should be a much more lopsided score at this point well, in time. Well, that's right. Reggie Dunn watches this one sail into the end zone over the right shoulder catch about five yards deep, puts the knee down. Yeah, like a junior college transfer, exactly. First down at 10 for the 20-yard line. Utah moving from right to left pitch, sweeping near side is White. He hesitates, and Goldberg and Precheck are there to collaborate on the stop at the 22-yard line. And so far, they've got White's number. Yep. White yeah. hasn't uh, done much at all. Yeah. One running back, receivers either side. Dropping is Hayes, looks left, throws it out there, and it is caught by the tight end, Kendrick Moiai. And he is hauled down after a short gain of four yards at the just inside the 25-yard line. Derek Webb was there on the tackle. Mark, you were talking about the, the score to be bigger. Remember in that Shotgun. second. Stands flanked to his right by a running back, that being White. He's got slot to the right, takes a snap, boots out to the right, got room to run, tucks it running across the 25, but he's hit and hammered down. It appears shy of the first down marker at about the 29 and a half is where the linesman is putting his foot down. And he has to get to the 30. I don't think, yeah, they're not going to get that call right here. It's still a close football game. 
Logan Gray is back to return. Smellwood swings the right leg, and boy, a booming, booming punt, sending Logan Gray back. It bounces inside the 20 to 17 and checks up right there. As you've got Allowed. sun breaking through the clouds here in Salt Lake City. Slot to the right, boundary, and two tight ends to the left. Hanson under center, sprints out left, hands off, tailback. Tony Jones bends the corner. Across the 20 he goes. He's run out of bounds on the far side up around the 27-yard line. At the gain of five center, one running back behind the senior quarterback takes a snap, short drop. He got stepped on by the left guard, Ethan Atkins, and he tumbles down inside the 20 at the 18. Oh, that's tough. First half. Third down and nine for the 18. Hanson out of the shotgun, the snap, fakes the inside handoff, throws a bubble screen right side. P. Rich had the ball in his hands and dropped it right there. Was Reggie Tops on the coverage? That'll bring up fourth down, and the Buffs will have to punt this one away. Well, the other. And the personal protector turns. Griff McNabb is back to return. O'Neal, the punt, puts the foot to it. It is low and warbling. Drifting up and taking it the 40-yard line is McNabb. Runs to his left, has a bit of a hole. He gets hit at the 45-yard line, stumbles forward to about the 47. 38-yard punts, 8 yards on the return, tackled by Derek Webb for the Buffaloes. He has done a heck of a job on special teams. First down and 10 now for the Utes from the 48-yard line. Play action, Hayes, swing it out on the near side. Passes high, it is bobbled and then hauled in, stumbling across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Nice job making a very tough catch here with Sean Asiata. John Major to the right, backs her in the eye. White to tail of the tandem. Hayes turns, hands off White, got a bit of a hole, but he hesitates, and Anthony Perkins hauls him down. Very close to the first down marker. I think they got it. That's the first first down of the game. And that's uh, kind of the Bronx cheer on two-yard line. Out of the shotgun this time is Hayes. He's flanked to his left by White. Takes a snap. Inside handoff on that read option. Gives to White. He stumbles his way forward. Sidesteps across the 40. Down to the 37-yard line. That's a gain of five yards on that carry. Eventually was brought down by Anthony Perkins for the Buffalo. 37-yard line. Just over two minutes remaining. Tight ends to the right. Backs were in the eye. Looked like there was early movement. They give it to White. And he has swarmed under the 36-yard line. That's a gain of about a yard, yard and a half on that play, making the stop for the Buffaloes. Boundary to the left. Running back is White out of the shotgun. Chest high snap to Hayes. Swing it near side to White. He makes the grab of the 40. Swarmed under by Patrick Mankey and hauled down right there and shoved out of bounds. Loss of three yards. Patrick Mankey. God's favoring the Buffaloes. The cloud cover comes in. How does Selva to punt this one away? High end of a end punt. Gray lets it go over his head. Bounces at the five. It is touched by one of the Ute players and then comes dead at about the first down and 10 for the 40-yard line late second quarter buffs on top 10 nothing handoff to the uh, tailback Tony Jones breaks the uh, containment to the outside running at the 15 running at the 20 he's turned back in spins down and tapped down at the 21 yard line by Matt Martinez oh did he break containment the Utes knew it was coming, and they're trying to force this thing to action, maybe get the ball back or get a uh, safety there. And Tony, as he turned the corner, got outside on the edge of Eric Rowe and just bolted upfield a gain of 18 yards. I was yards. about to say, he probably was uh, on that. Yep, first down and 10 for the 22-yard line. Handoff again to Tony Jones, who continues to play out there, and he is hit and swarmed under. Dave Kruger was there up front defensively for the Utes, gain of a yard on that play. I think Colorado is going to be content with it. TJ stays out there. Jones again with the uh, handoff. Tries to break it, bend the corner this time and can't. Nice job defensively by uh, Utah. Derek Shelby was there on the tackle for the Utes. See? Buffaloes with five seconds left. And it's just a quarterback keeper as Tyler Hansen takes a snap and pulls his way forward. That was an interesting call there. Yeah, now theoretically, yeah. Utah could have called a timeout. They could have. There appeared to be one second left, but they just let it. Let it come to an end. So one half is in the books here at Rice Eccles Stadium. The Buffaloes are on top 10 nothing. Andy Lindahl is head coach John Ember. Utah will have the ball. So here we go. Justin Castor has it teed up at the 30 yard line up to a right. Bucking the wind a little bit as he kicks. Kind of pops this one up. Sends it to the far sideline. Taken by an upman at the 25 yard line. Out across the 30. Up to the 34 yard line. I don't know that return. Still the Harden Motors saddle report. Here's uh, Andy Lindell. Yard line. Right. Tight into the right boundary to the left. Left to right here in the uh, third quarter. Hand off to White. He broke one tackle and uh, kind of half stepped out of it before being tripped up out of the 37 yard line. That's a gain of five, almost six, in fact. On that play, the the eye white to tail of the tandem. Hayes is under center. Four man front. Here comes a blitz off the edge. They run away from it, though, and he steps out of a tackle. Nearly getting there was Josh Hardigan out across the 40 to the 41 goes White. Hardigan came in off the defensive right side. 
Curtis Cunningham eventually. So the backup is out there right now. That's Harvey Lange. He's only had 13 carries a season. You can tell the backup is out there. He runs with the quarterback. Hayes, he stumbles it in. Turns and tries to work his way upfield. Patrick Menke was there to haul him down. A gain of only yards. So there's a backup out there who only has 13 carries. That was supposed to be. But they're up only by a touchdown and a field goal. Buffs with a four-man front showing blitz. Baxter in the eye. Hayes dropping. Here comes pressure in the middle. Hennessy throws. Ball up in the air. And it is incomplete. Threw it down the right sidelines. Intended for Drez Anderson. There was a late shot on the safety coming over. Three to the right on second down and ten. From the 42, play action, setting. They swing it out left side out of the backfield. Longy drops the football. And he took a little bit of a shot by John Major. Now the crowd wanted something there. That was a glancing blow, and there wasn't a whole lot to it. From their own 42-yard line, 13-14 to play. Empty backfield, shotgun snap to Hayes. He's got all kinds of times. A buff drop a lot into a open. He's a man over the middle as a catch is made, running across the 40, the 35-yard line. It was a late pass to Devontae Christopher. And the Buffs had coverage spread all over, and Christopher kind of bled, broke up his route into the middle of the field, and Hayes found him there. Parker Orr. Two-yard line, tied into the right along with the boundary. Play action, booting out to his left, being chased now by Tyler Alice. Took a shot as he threw it downfield. Grab is made at the 25-yard line. Another nice pickup on the reception. That time is Reggie Dunn, a gain of seven yards. As a shift as Dunn goes through the backfield in motion. Now it comes back to the right. Hayes turns, hands off Longy. He broke one tackle, stayed on his feet. And stumbles forward. I beg your pardon, that was not long to carry the ball that time. Maybe the best drive of the game so far by Utah. Under center, give on the uh, play action. Bakapuna broke a tackle, running at the 15, running at the 10. Runs over the top of Ray Pope, picks up 11 yards and a first down. Down to the nine yard line. And Bakapuna has injected some life into this team. Poke again on the tackle and Ray. Ball left hash mark. Tenth play of the drive. Draw play again. Bakapuna steps out of a tackle at the six. He's grabbed to the five and drags the defender down to the three yard line. That's a six yard pickup by Bakapuna that time. I'll tell you what, back formation. Tight into the right. Ball left hash mark. Bakapuna again off the edge. He broke a tackle. Stays on his feet. Dives in. End zone. Touchdown. Jadira Uso to Rebe. Came off the. Defensive left end and had a shot at him. Tried to arm tackle, couldn't bring him down. And with 10:29 to play in the third, best Four and a half minutes out of the time of possession. Now we've got ourselves a ball game here in Salt Lake City for the extra point. Snap bobbled but got down, and the kick by Peterson is up and good. Especially considering that the Utes lost John White and then offensive lineman Sam Brenner on that drive. Swings the right leg, puts the ball in the air, does Marsh. It's a relatively short kick forward from the three-yard line. Just outside the near hash, runs to his left of the 15, hit it to 17, and he is spun down right there. And there's a loose ball and a pile up at the 18-yard line. It looks like Ford came up with the football. He took a shot initially from Nick. First down and 10 at the 18-yard line, moving right to left, tight into the right, sprints out left, hands off Roddy Stewart. He finds a bit of a seam, steamrolls and submarines across the 20 out to the 22-yard line. That's four yards on first down and second down at six. Now fourth coming. Boundary side of the formation. Hanson under center, takes a snap, short drop, looks to his right, spins away from pressure now as he dumps it off on a little... Kind of a jump shot pass to Tony Jones at the 25, out to the 26. He's swallowed under there, two yards shy of the first down marker. Here's Andy Lindo with the Silt Arm Motor Sound Report. Guys, look for another heavy dose of Tony Jones. We had a speedy Stewart limp off the field. I'm trying to man through the backfield is P. Rich. Hanson under center, takes a snap, boots out to his right, got a man in his face, swing it off, Logan Gray makes the catch, running at the 30 as he picks up the first down, and there is tripped up at the 33-yard line, Chaz Walker with the tackle, and how about Tyler Hanson, he turned, had a man right in his face, it was Derek Shelvin, he dumped it off to Logan Gray, and that was the down to 10 for the 33-yard line, tight end and an eight to the right-hand side, Hanson sprints out right, hands off Tony Jones, getting blocking, trying to turn the corner, and he can't. He is hit by Ryan Lacey and run out of bounds on the far side. They tried to stretch play to the right to the boundary and could not find the edge, and they ran him right out of bounds. No gain on that play. P. Rich, one running back as Jones stays out there. Hanson under center. Five-step drop, scans his secondary. Now flushed to the near side, running, sets up, eludes one defender, runs forward. He's got runner blockers in front of him. Cott takes the edge, runs across the 35, the 40. He's hit from behind, and he's driven down up at the 42-yard line. Nice job by Hanson. Finau was there on the tackle. That's a gain of nine, almost 10 yards on that play. Well, they give him the first down. He needed to get to the 43. He's about 42 and a half. Not quite. About two feet shy of the first down marker. 
third down and a short one now for the Buffaloes. Well, they've got to get that. Three of ten on third down. Hanson needs two feet, turns, hands off. Tony Jones finds a seam. He dies forward, second effort. He was grabbed around the ankles that time, holding on defensively, but TJ is there to pounce forward and pick up a ball. Left hash mark, tight into the right, boundary to the left. Hanson play action sets. He's got pressure behind. They throw the screen over the middle and is nearly picked off. The intended receiver, obviously, was Tony Jones, and seeing that thing develop was Dave Fagerman. Tight end and an H to the left. That's the boundary side. Hanson under center, sprints out left, hands off, tailback, and Tony Jones breaks one tackle, weaving his way through defenders, penetrates inside Utah territory across the 50, down to the 46-yard line. He has brought down 11 on third down. That changes the play. Trips to the right boundary to the left. Shotgun snap. Hanson sets to throw. He's got all kinds of time. He's got Clemens open on the right side. Grabbing the 47. Running at the 40. A juke move. And he stumbles to his right to the 35. And that's a first down catch by Tony Clemens in a gain of 16 yards. Conroy Black was there in the tackle. And how about that? Tony Clemens wide open out in the right flat. Two, two big things on that. Tony was coming across the field. Somehow, the Utah defense just absolutely lost him, Mark. There was no one even looking at him. And, and to uh, the left, Baxter in the eye. Hanson under center. The snap drops to throw. Senior way throws the fade up the right side. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. It's up in the air. Clemens up with the ball, and he comes down with it, and he's down at the one. Oh, what a play. 36-yard reception. The ball was high. Ryan Lacey and Tony Clemens, and T. Clemens said, that ball is mine. First down and goal to go from the one-yard line for Colorado. And how about this drive? Tony Clemens, four catches for 102 yards now. You know what? In the last four games, that's his third 100-yard game. He had 115 against Arizona, 112 against USC. Let's get out of the sidelines. Andy Lind on the Siltar Motor Sideline Report. Guys, I'd almost challenge this. Tony Clemens rode the body of the Utah DB into the end zone. I think that's a in the third. Buffs on top 10-7. Goal to go from the one. Moving right to left. Hanson under center. Turns, and he boots out to the right. Dumps it off. End zone. Touchdown. Fullback Evan Harrington. He kind of acted as if he was going to block the end and then bled out on the right side, was wide open, and Tyler just had to toss it into the breadbasket of number 49, Evan Harrington. And what a way to answer. 11 plays, 82 yards, five and a half minutes, the time of possession, and Colorado answers Utah's touchdown with a long drive of their own. It goes up 16-7 to here in Salt Lake City. Will Oliver is out for the extra points. I love that call. Fantastic. Boot is up, it is on its way, and it is good. And for every touchdown scored by Colorado, the Berg Simpson Law Firm will make a generous donation to Craig Hospital. Berg Simpson, good lawyer. Up with a fingertip on top by Henderson. Approaches a football swing to the right leg, and he pops it up off the right side. Very short kick, and it is taken by an upman at the 28, out across the 30, 35-yard line, 40-yard line. And finally brought down there, making the tackle for the Buffaloes as Lowell Williams, a young linebacker, 13-yard return. Two now for the Utes moving left to right. Baxter in the eye. Again, White has been hurt. Hayes drops to throw. Here comes pressure off the edge. Josh Hardigan's got him, and he sacks him at the 40-yard line. A loss of about a yard and a half. He actually fell forward, might have gotten back to the initial line of scrimmage. But Josh Hardigan coming off the edge, and depending upon that, Sack or not for the first half, and that could be the second sack of the game for Josh Harlington for the 42. One running back in the formation. Hayes drops the throw. He stumbles now, swinging out on the right side of the flat. Grab his minute at the 50-yard line, makes a move at the 45-yard line, and brought down is Luke Matthews. A tackle by Travis Sanders fell, a 15-yard pickup. Matthews somehow got free and wide open. Out of the right city. Tight into the left, boundary to the right, under center is Hayes, drop play, handoff, tailback, and Bakapuna steps out of a tackle of Perkins, runs into Ray Polk and Travis Sandersfeld, and they eventually twist him down at the 34-yard line. That's a gate of nine. They had a shot at Bakapuna. Inside the right hash mark, tight into the left, boundary to the right, sprints out left, hands off Akapuna's stretch play, turns it upfield, got hit by Uzo Dariba from behind, and brought him down for a loss of maybe a half a yard. Second down, long one. As Shadira Uzo Deribe, the sophomore out of Corona, California, chased him down for the defensive field as Scott Hayes under center. Turns, hands off Vakapuna left side. He's got the first down and then some. Play to the 25. Hit from behind by Tyler Alice and down at the 21-yard line, a gain of 13. 
And the big back rumbling for a first. Puna is the tail of the tandem. Turn, give off to the big fullback. And he is hit right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe gains a yard to Sean Asiata. The right ball left hash mark. Slot to the right. That's the open side of the formation. Shotgun snap taken by Hayes. Throws it over the middle. Grab his made at the 12-yard line. Breaking a tackle is Scott running inside the 10 down to the 7-yard line. Trez Anderson with the reception. That's a gain of 13. Parker Orms on the tackle. The yard line on first down. Motioning is Scott off the right. Hayes, play action, boots out to his right. Throw it out there. Rossi out of the fullback. They catch it at five. And Tony breaks the tackle of John Major. Two consecutive possessions. The Utes have found the end zone. A seven yard catch. Okay, once again. 17 14 as it stands right now. There's a snap put down. The kick by Peterson is up, and it is good. And we have a field goals difference between the Bucks. And the Utes here in Salt Lake City, 17-14. Colorado football is brought to us. led all the way. We're up at the half, 10-0. It's an onside kick. It's rolling. The kicker jumps on it. It's loose. It's still loose. And dumping the ball is Derek Webb. But did he secure it at the bottom of that pile? An onside kick by Kyle Whittingham and the Utes. And there is all sorts of inhumane acts being conducted at the bottom of that pile right now. Tell you what, that that was like a turkey the day before Thanksgiving, <laughs> running away from the guy with a hatchet. As they continue to peel away, but they're on 49, moving right to left. Ball left hash mark. Hanson turns, hands off. Tony Jones, he's got a hole running at the 45, running at the 40. He's sandwiched between two defenders and down to the 37-yard line. Making a stop was Brian Bluck in the outstanding safety. That's a 14-yard pickup. Andy Lindahl's got a seal to Harbaugh's sideline report. All right, I got some injury news. We've got Rodney Stewart with his coat on, Stewart. sitting on three-man front, making a four-man front for the Utes. Hanson turns, hands off, nice cut, Tony Jones. He's at the 30, stumbles down to one hand, still on his feet, inside the 25, inside the 20, goes the redshirt freshman, Tony Jones, down to the 17-yard line. And you want to talk about effort. TJ would not go down. It's a gain of 20. Ryan Lacey makes the tackle, and it's first down for Colorado. I tell you what, I remember earlier, Andy was talking about he needs to, well, it's the end of the quarter, put his shoulders down and go. On those last two plays, he has done just that. He's cut into the hole and uh, had two good drives. I uh, think yards. Our, uh, our crowd, you 17 yard line. Three tight ends to the right. Hanson under center. Turns, hands off. Right side, bending the corner, running at the 10, running at the 5. There's a flag in the play, and Tony Jones is run out of bounds at the three yard line. Now they signal touchdown that when he went out of bounds, he threw the ball over the pylon. But there is a flag in this place. Got to be a hold. Holding. Number 85 of the offense. Then their penalty. First down will be repeated. Oh, that's tough. Back the ball in the eye. Tail of the tandem out there is Tony Jones. Play action. Hanson sets to throw as it collapses right in front of his grab and sacked for the first time. Down. Star low to Lale. 11-yard loss on the play. And the punt. Tight into the right. That's the boundary side of the formation. Hanson drops to throw. He's got time. Swing it down the right side. And it is picked off in the 21. Picked off and running forward is Reggie Tops out to the 33. And he's tackled by Ryan Dehan. They threw the streak down the right side and tenor for Paul Richardson. And Tops was waiting on it. He saw it. He jumped her out and picked off the football. The His out there is Vakapuna. Man, has he been effective after the... Uh... Injury to White, give it to him right up the middle. He storms across the 35, stumbles forward up just shy of the 40. That's a gain of almost six yards on that play. Anthony Perkins is here to tackle for the Buffaloes. Motion man through the backfield is done. Hayes turns, hands off Vakapuna. He gets hit right in the hole, stood up at the 40. Might have worked his way up to the 41. Let's call it a gain of two yards on that play. That'll bring up third down at about three now for the Utes. Hey, he's out of the shotgun. Done the motion man. Takes a snap. Drops the throw. Looks off to his right. Throws it out there. And it is caught at the 50. But did he hold on? Kenneth Scott. They say that he did. An eight-yard pickup. Sanders fell there. Field. Ball right hash mark. Moving right to left. Buffs on top by a field goal. Hayes gives on a slow developing play. Vakapuna breaks containment and runs out to the 50-yard line to the 49. Gains about a half yard on that play. On the bus, 49-yard line. Moving right to left out of the shotgun is Hayes. Flanked to his right by Vakapuna. Takes a snap. Stands there. Looks to throw. Left side. Catch behind the receiver. Grab his main on a slant left side inside the 35. Down to the 34-yard line. Devontae Christopher goes. Anthony Perkins on the tackle. But that's a gain of 17 yards. And whatever the Utes could not do in the first half, they right to left side. Hayes under center, takes a snap, drops the throw, has time, steps up now, rifles it downfield, leaping grab is made at the 15, at the 10 near side, tripped up by Ray Pope, and down at the 7-yard line. 
A grab over the middle. David Rolf is number 47. They list him as a defensive end. Vakapuna behind Asiata. Hayes turns. Vakapuna right side. There's no hole there. He gets stood up with a five and held and brought down. Helmet comes popping off on the way down. Gain of maybe a yard. Here's Andy Lindahl down the sidelines now. Motioning out to the right. Now as Hayes takes a snap, he drops the throw. Boots to his left. Looks, pumps, hit at the five by Greg Henderson and tripped up down at the four. That was a dangerous play. Henderson got left out on an island out there on the defensive right side. And as Hayes booted out, it was he kind of played safety between the two. There was a receiver in the right left. Let make it left quarter of the downs. Motion man through the backfield is Matthews. Hayes dropped the throw. Now he's hit and twisted down and sacked back at the nine yard line. What Travis. a job defensively on that play. Holy cow. Travis Sanderfell. Boy, did he make a heck of a play. He came rolling on in there and hold down the quarterback. He gets up with a very severe limp, and so the Utes are going to have to kick a field goal, which was tied the same end of the field earlier in the game, has got a kick now from the 16 to 26 yard field goal. It's up, it's on its way, and it is no good, good. again. Off to the right. Peterson pushed this one right, right. And the Buffaloes are living right this afternoon here in Salt Lake City. Coleman Peterson. 0 of 2 in this game, and Colorado takes over possession. With 8.55 to play in the fourth quarter, the Buffs right now clinging, Point nursing advantage. First and 10 for the 20. Two tight ends to the right, ball center of the field. Hands sprints out left. Out the Tony Jones breaks the tackle at the 18, running at the 20, still on his feet, and he's pushed to the far side. Eric Rowe with a free safety on the tackle, but it's a gain of three yards. Tony Jones turned a three-yard loss into a three-yard gain on that play. Now to center. Ball left hash mark as Hanson turns. Fakes the handoff, throws a slant left side, oh. diving, grab made by Tony Clemens for the first down. And there's a flag in play. Reggie Tops is right there. Simple slant off the left side, and T. Clem just out muscled Tops for the ball. Gain of 10 as it stands right now. That was a great catch. I'm not sure what this flag's about. I think it's probably pass interference because he was draped He's all over. To his right by Tony Jones. Tyler of the snap. Drops to throw. He's got time. Now steps up, flush forward, runs to his left, hit from behind out across the 33 to the 34 yard line. Well, he had initial pretty good protection. Matt Martinez eventually brought him down, but right to the strong side of the formation. We'll see what they do here. Hanson drops. They throw it to the boundary, and there's a flag on the play. A full start penalty. Full start. Number 63, the offense. Five yard penalty, second down. Now moving left to right. Under center is Hanson. Takes a snap, play action, sets to throw, throws it on the right side. It is deflected in the air and nearly picked off. <laughs> that thing was hit at the line of scrimmage and hung up in the air forever. And Chaz Walker nearly came up with that football. That'll make up third down. Great right shotgun crowd is making noise. Low snap taken off the shoe tops. Hanson drops to throw. Looking, looking, swings at safety valve. Leaping grab with a 30 by Tony Jones. And he cannot escape. The tackle there, and he's hauled down at the 32-yard line by Reggie Tops. A gain of three on that play. Nice recovery by Tops as he saw that the Hanson had the check down to about four down to nine. Don't say that. Griff McNabb is back to return. And yeah, there it is. boots it. It's a bullet. And McNabb drifting back inside the 15, takes to the 13, sets, and he throws it on the far side. It's grabbed there by Dunn, and he is hit at the 17 at the 18-yard line, hauled down. 52-yard punt, five-yard return. Yeah, a little bit of trickeration, if you will. Griff McNabb made the catch and then threw the lateral across the field to Reggie Dunn. Gain of five yards, so nothing worked there. 5.39 to play. Buffs defense has got to stand tall now. They lead it by a field goal, 17-14. Their momentum, first down at 10 for the 19. Moving right to left. Hayes drops to throw. A little bit of pressure. Now he looks over the middle. He throws. Grab his made at the 25-yard line. Out to the 29. Goes the tight end. Making the reception wide right to the right. That's the open side of the formation. First down at 10 for the 29. Backs are in the eye. Vakapuna to the tail of the tandem. Given the draw play. Hole left side. He breaks it across the 30. 35 hit low by Perkins. Stumbles forward to the 36-yard line. That's a gain of about six and a half, almost seven yards in that play. Let's quickly pause 10 seconds now. 36-yard line. Tight end to the right, boundary to the left. Scott, the motion man. Backs to the eye. Hayes the snap. Turns. Slowly hands off the Vaca Pony. He's got the first down. Breaks it across the 45. Ball pops up into the hands of Cunningham. Running at the 45, and he runs out of bounds on the far side. Vaca Puna took a shot from Anthony Perkins. It popped up in the air. And Columbine High School's oh. Curtis Cunningham came up with a foot. Football, and there's a turnover, and the Buffaloes have it with 4.38 to play. I 
think it was Ray Polk. That Polk hit got there. Yeah, Polk was, was there. Polk. Perkins was there. The ball popped out though, up in the air, and big old Curtis Cunningham. He joined us on the pregame show, and the 290-pound tackle from Columbine was so looking forward to this ball game. He said, "Mark, I'm going to go out and give it everything I've got." You're right, Polk. Hit him low. Perkins hit him high, and the ball came loose. Andy, how'd you see that one on the sidelines? Polk got the helmet right on the football. Wow, first down and 10 for the Buffaloes now for the Utah 43-yard line. Three tights to the right. Ball left hash mark. Hand up. Tony Jones. He goes right. Got grabbed around the face mask and hauled down. Back at the 45-yard line, there's no flag in the play. Loss of two yards on that play. Well, from the 45. Hanson under center. Four-man front. There's a flag in the play and a full start. It's another center. One running back is Tony Jones. Long cadence by Hanson. The snap sprints out right, hands off to TJ, spins off a one defender, stumbles forward down to the 47 yard line. Gain of three on that play. That'll bring up third down and 14. Look at a linebacker creeping up on the defensive right side. Hanson drops, they drop into coverage. Hanson wants to throw over the middle. Tony Jones drops the ball at the 45. He had the football in his hands. He had about five yards before he'd encounter the second level of that defense, and he flat out dropped the football. I don't think he would have got the first the 10 yard line up to our right. O'Neill needs a good one here. Puts the foot to it under some pressure. And he shanked it. He shanked it. It is out of bounds up around the 27 or 28 yard line, I think. First and 10 for the 29. Shotgun snap to Hayes. He'll drop the throw. Looking, he's got time. Throws it over the middle. Pass is deflected. And it's incomplete. Taking a shot out there. And that's what the crowd is booing about. Deflection by Will Preach. 19 passing for a buck 51. No picks and a score. Out of the shotgun. Hayes dropping the throw. Steps up in the pocket. He's got room to run. Now it's deflected. It's up in the air. And it is nearly picked off. And it's incomplete as it bounces in between the two safeties. Ray Polk and uh, Parker Orms had dropped into a safety back there. Okay. Now you got a third down and 10. 10 here for the 29. The tight end Moyai shifts from left to right. Shotgun snap to Hayes. They roll the pocket to the right-hand side. Takes a shot as he throws. Catch is made at the 40 by Matthews. Turns up field and picks up a first down. 13-yard gain. Sanders Feld was there, and he couldn't stop him from crossing the first down marker. Yeah, you go back to Hawaii game. You go back to 45 to play. Buffs nursing a three-point lead. Shotgun snap to Hayes. Has time. Slant left side. Christopher makes the grab, and it stumbles down to the 47-yard line. That's a gain of six right there. Sanders fell on the coverage. Zim, you go back to that, uh, was it the Cal game where they had a first? Hayes is out of the shotgun as they move it right to left. Ball center of the field. Takes a snap. Drops. Sets to throw. Throws it. Christopher has this one knocked away from behind as Greg Henderson got a nice pass breakup on that one. Slant up the left side, and Henderson, who has done that a half dozen times this season, reached out with the right hand and slapped it down. The 47. Now the linebackers come creeping up. Shotgun snap. They bring the blitz. Hayes eludes one man, throws it left side. Catches made at the 45-yard line. Christopher and out of bounds. First down. Oh, they Utah the force fumble by Roy Polk. Hayes out of the shotgun. Flanked to his left by Vakapuna, the running back. Drops to throw. Stands tall. Has time. Looks. Throws. Safety belt. Moyai. The tight end makes the grab at the 40-yard line. And he rumbles down inside the 37 to the make it the 37-yard line. Mackey is there on the tackle. Remember, they only need a field goal to tie. And right. minute 15. Hayes is out of the shotgun. He takes a snap. Here comes a blitz right up the middle. Picked up nicely. He's got time. Throws in the crossing pattern. From behind, Christopher makes the grab, and there's a flag in the play. Oh. Parker Orms laid out Devontae Christopher. Wow, now, flag. What is the flag for? He made the catch. Or he did not make the catch. It went behind him. I beg your pardon. Oh, I thought he had the ball. Yeah, the ball got there, and Parker Orms hit him. I, I can't to his right with the running back, Vakapuna. Takes the shotgun snap, drops. Here comes pressure, and he sacked. The ball is loose, and there's a pile up at the 28-yard line. I think Utah jumped back on it. David Goldberg came off the edge and the, made the sack of the quarterback, Hayes. The senior out of... Aspen, Colorado, the Third transfer from Penn State. Out, Utah. John Utah's Cullen. Going to talk it over right now. Hayes is out of the shotgun. He's got an H and a slot to the right. Ball left hash mark. Takes a snap. Drops the throw. Here comes pressure. He's hit and sacked again. Delayed blitz by John Major. And he brings him down at the 34-yard line. Remember, they can't stop the clock. A loss of seven yards. Clock running 45 seconds. Boy, they had a receiver way down in the end zone. Look at him run to get back up there. Yeah, he had to run all the way back. So third down at 22.
from the 44-yard line, and they're getting across the line of scrimmage is Harding, and he just gave him five yards. Free play. Throw it out there. Right side, it is picked off by the Buffaloes, and going down is Parker Orms, but there's a defensive penalty on Josh Hardigan. So this ball goes right back to Utah with 29 seconds. 17-14, third down and 13 for the 25. Hayes gives off Acapuna, hit down low, and he's knocked down at the 31-yard line by John Major. So now it's the fire drill as the field goal unit comes running in. 20 seconds remaining. The kneel down is going to be center of the field at the 38-yard line, a 48-yard field goal by Coleman Peterson. This one would tie the game. Down to 10 seconds, they're set. Down to eight, down to seven, snap, the kick is up, it is on its way, and it is no good! No good to no the right. No good! And the game... One second. Once, That's over. It That's is over. over. A 24-game losing streak has come to an end for Colorado. Peterson, Coleman, or Coleman Peterson, has missed three field goals in this game, oh, including on, one... Please put two seconds. Oh, 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 oh. end it and send that 2012 team into a fresh start next season. The clock strikes zero. The streak is over. 24 game road losing streak. 1,490 days without a win on the road. Since October 27th of 2007, and the Buffaloes knocked off Texas Tech 31-26 in Lubbock, Texas. said defense just so you know we came off the field their defense we first run by so they can break it down one two three shut out so three points is gonna be it's gonna be enough to win it for them be ready early right deep ball trick plays be ready early okay finish them finish them to the whistle play fast play physical because it's our time it's our time feel yeah. awesome. I mean, we just ended a terrible road streak and we just started a new one. So we went on the, went on the road going to the next season. It was very emotional, very emotional. We was happy uh, for the seniors. We were happy for us young guys being able to like get a, a step into next season with a win. So, I mean, it, it was very emotional in the locker room. Oh, it was tremendous. Um, we started off strong, we started off fast, and then we kind of slowed down. But our defense played so amazing throughout the entire game, and we were able to capitalize off the defense, the defense playing so well, and we finished the game off strong. It feels great. You know, uh, we've been working so hard, and it's finally uh, feels great to achieve what we've been uh, wanting to do. The game definitely had it, its uh, ups and downs, but, you know, we just persevered, kept fighting, and uh, we came out on top. Ecstatic. It was awesome. We were just uh, singing, you know, just... It was pure excitement. Everyone was happy. It's just, it's just great to lift it off this program's back. I know it's always been like a monkey on our back, and it's just you know great, not only for us but for uh, future classes as well. It's, uh, it was much needed, long overdue. Um, biggest win in my career. Proud to be a part of it, and proud to be uh, one of the teams and uh, one of the seniors that made an impact on the game. Oh man, it's, it was like a party in there. You know, uh, it was real lively. Everybody was excited. Um, everybody was proud, and uh, it's the way the locker room should be. And um, I hope they continue it onto the future. I know Coach Embry will do a great job of that, and um, you know, go bust. Oh man, we uh, we believed in each other the whole year. We just we just didn't come out on top, you know, a lot of the times. And um, we knew we trusted in our ability. We started meshing together. Everybody started holding each other accountable, and uh, everybody went out there and did their job. And um, I'm glad to be a part of it. And uh, have these brothers on my team and on my side and playing every snap for me um, and with me. Uh, it was just an honor and a blessing. Uh, it was definitely a great win. I mean, like I said, the last time we had a road win was my true freshman year against Texas Tech. So, I mean, this is a great win for us. And it, it was a great monkey to get off our back. It was uh, it's great for the, the next team. It's great for next year. Uh, it's great momentum. And, I mean, nobody can talk about the streak anymore. It's, it, it's over. Uh, nothing but exciting, man. Dancing around, jumping around. I mean, it, it, it was great. I mean, seniors, I think it's, it's hit a lot of us that this is going to be, you know, the last time that we'll be together. But, you know, it, a lot of excitement.